Here is an air spy. It's connected to a short cable. And here is a dummy load. Well, there is an attenuator before the dummy load. I'm preparing a test setup when I'm going to send the same signal into several SPRs. And I find that this air spy picks up signals that don't come through the tape. If you look here, and you can hear from the loudspeaker, if I move this unit, suddenly it became much better. I can trace this problem to poor contact between the box and the wall here, where the antenna is connected. So, I have to open it. This washer here, it's mounted the wrong way. It has some sharp edges one direction and it's flat in the other direction. Here is another one where you can see that. Turn it. It's like this. So uh, it doesn't cut into the metals as it should. And the metal is painted, so it's hard to cut through it. I will replace it, replace this washer with a more conventional one which is sharp on both sides and that will cut through aluminium oxide properly. The box as well as the screws and this lid they are painted so there is an isolation between uh, the box and the SMA connector and this way the RF gets into the unit. Now I have removed the paint from the end surface of the box and from the lid that will connect to the box and also for the screws and for the SMA connector and I found some unpainted screws uh, and I have also removed paint from the threads with this which I don't know what you call it and also made the threads a little bit deeper to match the somewhat longer screws I have now fixed the other side of the box but there is one more problem you can hear what the sound is from the loudspeaker and I make contact here On the screen it's like this and with the screwdriver in place there is noise coming out on the screen of the USB cable I'm not brave enough to solder on the USB connector so I made a hole and I put a washer to get good contact to some piece of this material which presumably is a suitable contact material to use. So first the washer with the proper side towards the aluminium. It doesn't have those sharp structures on this upside but on this side it's going to make contact to a good contact material not aluminium 
and the nut on top of that. Now I expect to have a good low impedance connection between the box and the USB screen.